Ladies and gentlemen, this battle is for the Muay Thai ISKA Intercontinental Super Welterweight title. It is scheduled for five rounds with John Shorley, our referee. And introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red and gold trunks. He tipped the scales at 145 pounds and owns a professional record of 11 victories, six defeats with one knockout. He is currently ranked number 20 in the world and is the ISKA Northwestern States Champion. He comes to us from Seattle, Washington. Let's say hello to Travis Dorge. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the blue and black Fairtex trunks. He weighs in at 150 pounds and owns a record of 14 victories, only one loss, Six of those wins coming via the knockout. He is currently ranked number two in the world. And he is the current ISKA Muay Thai Super Welterweight Champion, hailing from San Francisco, the one and only Alex F-14 Hey guys, I expect a good clean fight out of both of you. Obey my commands at all times and protect yourselves at all times. Touch close now, come on fighting for the ball, good luck. If I was facing Alex Gong at that face-off right there, I think I'd be squared. Do you see his eyes? Straight right, I want to see those tonight. I think that stare would intimidate anybody. And I think his trainer said, stay away from him early. And you know, you don't blame him. Well, Alex Gong in the dark trunks, Dirge in the red, and Gong immediately sets the tone for this fight. Oh, Gong tagging Doors with a strong right hand early on. Caught him up on the cheekbone. Dorge looks a little spaced. Referee John Shirley looks closely into the eyes of Dirge. Dirge just looks out of it. No knockdown. Dirge trying to fight back with some leg kicks. But in this weight class, no one does that better than Alex Gong. Gong all over Dirge. Dirge drops to the canvas. It was his best defense. And there you see Kirk Jensen, his trainer. He did the right thing. He looked like he didn't want to Now they've already called the fight. That was it. That John Shirley said this was a mismatch from early on. And Alex F-14 Gong barely breaks a sweat in his victory over Travis Dirge here in San Jose and takes the ISKA Intercontinental Super Welterweight title after a short workout. Well, a successful defense for Gong, but Dirge, what a surprise. We've seen him before. That punch, I think, changed everything. Travis Dirge has looked much better in previous bouts, although he's ranked 20th. It took just a little bit more than a minute for Alex Gong to dispatch of Travis Dirge. And I can't help but think that Dirge might be a little embarrassed. He certainly wanted to put up a better fight than that. Well, he's he looked much better yeah. in previous appearances. I think that Gong just intimidated him. Wasn't sure what to do. That made him hesitate and getting caught with that punch early. I think we'll see it again here. That just took whatever 
uh, budding game plan that Travis Sturridge had just went out the window after he got tagged with his right hand early in. We talked about the intimidation that Gong brought to the referee's instructions. You just saw the change in his face after they were told to come to the center of the ring, and I think that Dirge felt that in a big way, and it carried over into this first round. A minute and five seconds, Alex Gong is the winner of this bout. No, no, first time. That was the second one. Alex, have you ever had a fight in quicker than that one? No, that was uh, a pretty quick fight for me. Um, but it, it was not an easy fight because the fight's really hard in the training. No fight's easy. But, uh, yeah, I had a real good feeling walking into this fight. I knew I was going to take it to him early. Felt good about it. So. Well, Travis Gorge has looked better in previous fights. Uh, you just overwhelmed him. You know, uh, we have the best trainers. I train with four world champions and my sparring partners for this. Uh, Dr. Nia is my trainer. We train so hard in the gym, I tell you. I'm ready well, when I come out here. Well, what was your strategy that your trainers took you through? What did you want to do when you went in there, and is that what happened? I wanted to beat him. <laughs> That's what I wanted to go out there and Ladies make some punishment early and see, you know, what happened, you know? I wanted to punch him, see how he reacted, kick him if he, uh, he got pain, I'd follow up with kicks and punches, whatever worked, I was going to do. I determined to win. I knew I had no other choice but to win in this fight, and that was the only outcome I was going to accept. Okay, what, what do you think from here? You ready for a world title? I'm ready for a world title. Bring it on. Congratulations on your title, Alex. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alex Gong paid off in spades all that training that he has been doing in that Fairtex gym. And it does breed champions. Still to come tonight on ESPN2, a Chinese boxing title bout. You'll see Dan Garrett from Pasadena. He's a two-time national Chinese boxing champion. A gritty fighter. Taking on one of the best there is, Kung Li, a four-time national Chinese boxing champion. He has the legs that can destroy an opponent.